got the phone number of some family, five members of their family were abducted. Få har forhandlet med Hamas så länge som Gershon Baskin. Efter fem år sørget han for att få soldaten Gilad Shalit ut fra Hamas fangenskap i 2011. Baskin forklarer hvorfor gissler er så viktig for Hamas. For every hostage there's a point of leverage. If Gilad Shalit, one soldier, was able to free 1,027 prisoners, imagine what 150 eh, eh, hostages can achieve for them. That's the way they see it. Familjerna till gisslarna har protesterat mot regeringen. De kräver förhandlingar som kan rädda familjemedlemmarna deras. Men Baskin menar att Israel är er villig till att offra gisslarna i kampen mot Hamas. Hostages are not the number one priority right now. The number one priority is the military battle against Hamas. Den erfarne förhandlaren bekräftar att det pågår gisselsamtaler mellan Hamas och Israel, bland annat genom Katarerna, som har ett gott förhåll till bägge parter. Myself and, and another counterpart who lives in Paris have been engaging the Qataris for the last days, as I've been talking to the Israeli side and and Hamas side also, and we have a very small window to perhaps get the women, children, elderly and sick out. Vinduet Baskin snakker om er tiden før den massive bakkeinvasjonen fra Israel settes in mot Gaza. I imagine that it will be a multi-entry force coming at different entry points in Gaza, just as Hamas came into Israel. It will come from the sea and will continue to come from the air as well. But surely Hamas will not sit idly by. They will hit back at the invading Israeli forces. They will surprise Israel, no doubt, coming out of tunnels, roadside bombs, and it will not be easy. Israel is er kjent over hele verden for å ha stålkontroll på sikkerheten sin. Men Hamas sjokkangrep avslørte hvor sårbar Israel egentlig er, ifølge Baskin. Most of the soldiers who should have been protecting Gaza were in the West Bank protecting settlers. And the Israeli Defense Force, the official name of the Israeli army, is not a defense force. It's become the Israeli policing occupation force. Baskin mener Hamas-angrepet, som är er den värste säkerhetsfiaskon i Israels historia, är er ett direkt resultat av ockupationen och undertryckelsen av Gaza som har varit i över 16 år. You have to be stupid to believe that two and a half million people are willing to live forever in the conditions that they live in Gaza. Mm-hmm.